of ours to help us. Hello COD, this is your host Calvin and welcome to the Night Hour. So today we have a special guest on who will be joining us to share some of his beliefs on current events. So without further ado, please welcome Mike. Thank you, thank you for having me. It's great to have you here, Mike. Thank you. So recently we just discovered footage of the Titan submersible that gives us a dramatic look at what happened that night. What are your thoughts on this? Um, first of all, um, I thought it was pretty crazy and <clears throat> that it took a very long time. I'm pretty sure that it was like over a year already that this has happened. Um, but yeah, I thought it was pretty crazy that they just released the footage recently. Yeah, do you find it incredible just how much the footage really shows what happened? Um, yeah, I thought, I thought it was very um, interesting of what was left of the wreckage. Um, yeah, I, th I just thought it was pretty crazy that that's all that was left from it and nothing else really. Absolutely. There's also news of federal interest rates uh, being cut in a landmark policy shift. Do you think that this is a good thing for Americans? Uh, yes, uh, I think it's a great thing just because it makes our, our life pretty much easier and the government is finally like taking our needs into account. Overall, how do you think that federal interest rate cuts will do wonders for our country? Uh, well, yeah, of course. Uh, we as U.S. citizens find that uh, it's very beneficial that they're doing the federal cuts and it's just easier for us to manage. So yeah, it's, absolutely, I do think it's going to be better for us. Absolutely. So to switch topics here a bit, construction workers recently dug beneath a high school and discovered over 200 ancient, ancient species. What do you make of this? Um, yeah, that's pretty crazy, honestly. I, I did not hear that. Um, like, out of all the places, like, they find something like that on their high school. Um, it's a very strange role that we live in, you know, so, um, yeah, you never know what could be under us right now. It could be like a dinosaur fossil under us or any ancient artifact that we'll never know of, really. Yeah. So, yeah it's just crazy that we live in a world where there was, like, crazy stuff going on billions and millions of years ago. So yeah, you don't always hear about stuff like that. Yeah. Um, what do you find to be the most interesting discovery that they made underneath the school? Um, I'm not too sure. Um, I'm pretty sure they found like some ancient stuff. So yeah, it was pretty fascinating that they were able to find things like that. So, yeah. Okay. In other news, rats are getting birth control in New York City. Um, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, I think that was pretty crazy. I, I have heard about the stories that New York is like one of the most like, I don't know if you want to say infested of rats, but, but yeah, it's pretty crazy. I've never been to New York myself. Um, I've heard stories that there'd be huge rats and stuff, but um, yeah, the giving birth control to rats is pretty pretty crazy. Uh, I did read that there was like about like three million rats in New York apparently. I don't know how they keep track of that many rats, you know. But I don't either. Crazy. It seems like there's just as many rats and people as New York, and I've heard stories yeah. that rats can get you know as big <coughs> as cats even, which is yeah. ridiculous to me. It's crazy. I don't know how I'd react if I found something like that living in my apartment. My Probably God. just I move would, instantly. I'd freak out. Crazy. Yeah. And another word, uh, news, the Bears won this weekend 24 to 18 against the Los Angeles Rams. What stuck out to you during that game? Man, unfortunately I was stuck at work when the when the game was going on and I got home pretty late. So um, I did see the, the highlights and, and the, the score. Um, yeah, I thought, it was, I thought it was pretty good that the Bears won after losing two games in a row. So it's pretty good that they went back at home and they were able to get the win. Absolutely. What are your thoughts on Caleb Williams this year and how he's started the season? Uh, started off pretty rough, I guess, but he's going to get better throughout the season, I hope. So this could be a good a good turnout at the end of the season. Hopefully they can win something. Yeah, I hope so too. You know, with the rookie quarterback, sometimes it takes a little bit of time yeah. to for him to get comfortable and learn how to command the offense. So we're hoping for better things going forward yeah, here. For sure, for sure. I hope, I hope it does get better for the, for the city. We need, we need to win something for once, you know. Absolutely. All right, well, that's all the time that we have for today. I'd like to thank Mike again for joining us here on the Night Hour. And for all of us here, my name is Calvin. 
Thank you for watching this episode. Have a great rest of your evening, and we will be having another episode again next week. Thank you again for joining us tonight. Thank you.